If you're a baseball fan at all, you know the game is just as demanding mentally as it is physically. Now in Conway, a young Wapas cat was well on his way to making a name for himself on the diamond before facing a completely different matter. This morning, we introduce you to this extraordinary young man in our THV 11 morning original series, Fighters. During the offseason, you can find Brady Robnett right here, working on his game and catching up with his head coach. We'll hit. Yeah, we can hit. This is Brady's routine. However, 11 months ago, the star on the diamond was thrown a curveball. Uh, he uh, was practicing baseball three days a week, lifting weights. He was the heaviest he's ever been in his life, the healthiest he's ever been in his life. Results from monthly labs for a routine skincare medication prompted a visit to Arkansas Children's Hospital, Christmas Eve, 2020. By coincidence, you find out what you found out. We found a higher uh, count of abnormal cells. A night normally reserved for gifts, instead replaced with heartbreaking news. The oncologist said, I'm sorry, he has leukemia. Um, it was hard. Um, we, we didn't know what to think. We didn't know what to feel. AML, a rare form of the disease, especially for kids under 20. Brady was forced to trade practices for chemo treatments. I got the final diagnosis. Um, I didn't know what to, I didn't know what to feel. You know, I was scared. We were all scared. Then in February, another tough blow. The test came back and you have a high risk fusion and you're going to need a bone marrow transplant. And that just, it was like, it was crazy because we were so caught up with the fact that we were in deep remission after the first chemo treatment that we were like, well, there's nothing else that can happen now. And then that happened, and we were just like, we have more to do? It was just devastating. Brady needed a donor, so the family turned to his two siblings. Neither one of my children were a match, and that was devastating. Devastated but not deterred, Brady was forced to move to a hospital in Nashville, Tennessee. After nearly 100 days of waiting for the baseball star, it was a stranger's turn to step up to the plate. They came back and said that Brady uh, had a donor, a 22-year-old uh, male that was willing, that loved my son so much that he was willing to give him his donor sense. Five months after receiving the toughest news of his life on Christmas Eve, Brady got the best present of his lifetime on May 28th, his 17th birthday. It's an easy day to remember. That's, I mean, <laughs> that's, we got Christmas Eve and my birthday. Yeah. Nearly six months later, Brady is back to doing what he loves. I went to clinic a couple days ago and my, my labs are looking great, uh, continuing to, to get better. And he's grateful to this unknown teammate somewhere out there that he hopes to thank someday soon. It'll be one of the greatest days of my life. Uh, and knowing that there's somebody out there uh, who's a stranger, doesn't know who I am at all, knowing that somebody would give me uh, life is just extremely selfless and I'm forever thankful for it. Well, Brady and his donor have exchanged letters since the transplant. Because of privacy rules, they cannot officially meet until one year after his transplant, but they hope to meet in person maybe sometime next summer. Guys, there has been so much support for this young yep. man out of Conway. Brady is unbelievable. Again, the Conway baseball team, friends, family, drove by his house when they couldn't see him in person, did a little parade. His Facebook page, i got to say, has so many <laughs> followers. It was set up by his aunt, his mom and dad do such a great job. They use the hashtag Brady's Battle to support. It's unreal. I imagine that level of support is really necessary mm -hmm. to get through such a tough time. Uh, he kept such a good attitude. Yes. Uh, it maintained uh, the, the, the true grit that it would take to, to battle something like that. And to be told, too, we can't do this transplant in Arkansas. You have to move to Nashville. And it was like a split-second decision. His mom was talking to me about it. Just have to get up and go, do Back what we have to do. It. And, yeah, yep. but as you can see, he's doing great. And he's just ready to play some baseball now. That's great. It's, <laughs> but to go from heavy things like that to just yes. let's get back to baseball. Let's that's get back to baseball. really great. So oh. congratulations to him let's and get, his family. Let's get back to Arkansas business.